going on, Jerome. So, yes, we are the franchise of the UDFA legends, the undrafted, the unwanted, but still coming in and making a, a scene uh, and making the team and just doing some really damn good things, man. And last year, uh, Ivan Pace Jr., Andre Carter II, as well as Najee Thompson were all uh, UDFAs who made the 53. Uh, and what's interesting is at a certain point of the draft, you would almost prefer to be a UDFA because if you're highly sought after, if there's a bunch of teams that want your services, uh, you can generally command a very decent uh, UDFA guarantee. And so much so that uh, sometimes it's even more than some of the players drafted at uh, the back end of day three. Uh, so last year, uh, this is what happened with uh, you know Carter and Thompson uh, and, and Ivan Pace Jr. This is from Will Raggett, Sports Illustrated. What's interesting uh, to look at during this time of year is the amount of guaranteed money given to undrafted rookies. That can help provide a sense of which ones have a decent chance to make the rooster or at least the practice squad. Last year, the Vikings gave 340000 guaranteed to Andre Carter II, which was more guaranteed money uh, than most players in the fifth round. It's pretty damn impressive. Uh, Pace got 236. Uh, both made the 53. Pace, of course, went on to have one of the great seasons by a UDFA. Najee Thompson got zero goose egg D'Angelo Russell and still became a core special teamer as well. So it, it isn't about how much you get, but I mean, it's kind of important. So, uh, in terms of in terms of how much guaranteed money a player gets, maybe that speaks to how high a demand they are, or how much uh, the Vikings do value them. Or I, I will go wherever lo values loyalty the most or whatever, but uh, the leaders in the clubhouse this year for the Vikings 2004 UDFA classes, uh, Gabe Murphy, of course, from UCLA, getting after things, uh, went undrafted, much like Ivan Pace Jr., just because he didn't check the box in terms of measurables, but he's got heart, uh, he's got uh, a great pass rush, and he's going to bring a lot of heat, so he got 225K, and what's interesting uh, is 225 guaranteed is basically the same as six-round pick Walter Rouse uh, out of uh, Oklahoma, who has 226,000 uh, guaranteed on his four-year uh, template rookie deal. Uh, Deshaun Jones of Maryland. So Deshaun Jones is interesting. So 225,000 tied for the co-lead. So obviously uh, they value his skill set uh, a lot and want to take care of him. And you know, uh, just looking at the class, I mean, uh, you would think that you know, Devin Harper, given his uh, return ability, would have got something, or Ty James, uh, given his back-to-back -back monster seasons, FCS All-American, but he got zero goose at DeAndre Russell. Now, th these numbers are from over the cap, so it could be an oversight. It may not have just uh, filed the contract yet, but it would be interesting if he actually did get zero. Uh, also getting zero, Spencer Rowland, the local guy, North Carolina and Harvard, KJ Cloyd, uh, the linebacker from the U, that's just UB and the U, uh, and also Matt Sinder from Cal. Now, Five grand is five grand, but I feel like it's just like, just give me zero. <laughs> I don't want to file the 1099. Nah. Uh, but also uh, getting substantial money. So Trey Knox, the tight end from South Carolina, come on and raise up 120K. Uh, Taki Taami uh, from Oregon slash Washington, he's getting 95K. Doug Nestor, who is my, is my bet to make the roster, or one of my bets. Hmm. Uh, I think that Doug Nestor and Dallas Gant uh, could make some noise. Uh, Nestor getting 75, Gant getting 50. Jermer Flerks, a monster sized right tackle from Kentucky. Maybe they're going to kick him inside, but he's looking at 40K. Uh, Tyler Manoa again 20K as well as Porter. McLaughlin getting sort of a low guarantee it is super interesting. Now, uh, maybe his interest was subdued because he didn't test well, but. I think McLaughlin's a hell of a cornerback, but we'll take certainly take him for 20K guaranteed. Now, uh, if the, the team does move on uh, from these guys and they don't make the 53, and even if they make the practice squad, yes, uh, someone's guaranteed money does count as data gets a cap up. You know, that just sort of is what it is. That's the cost of doing the business. Uh, but, I mean, Gabe Murphy, everything lines up. Like, Gabe Murphy probably could have been a fifth-round pick, I think, if – that would have happened. People wouldn't have uh, freaked out. But getting him here with the Vikings had a great top 30 visit, was very impressed with the coaches and facilities, which is key. Uh, and he decided to take his talents here. And for 225 guaranteed, we'll take it. Absolutely, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Take a look at the guaranteed money uh, given to the various UDFAs in this year's draft class. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.